everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. So today is July's Illumicrate unboxing, but just before I get into that, I am going to be doing a little bit of an update at the end of the video. So I'm going to do the unboxing first, so then if you're just here for the unboxing, you don't have to hear me waffle at the end. But I do need to do a little bit of an update about personal stuff that's going on and how it'll affect me uploading and blah 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 blah. But yeah, I'll get straight into this and then... I'll talk after. Can't wait. <laughs> so here is July's box. As always, I've just cut the tape. Here's your little sneak peek. And the theme of this box is you win or you die. And August theme is hidden magic. So grab and go, grab and go. So the first thing is Fire is Catching Towel, artwork by Kelly Chong, inspired by The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. So this is the packaging. Oh, it's very soft. I like it. Right, I'll give you a first peek. I'm going to have to stand up. So it starts like this. And then like that. And I hope you managed to see all of that. <laughs> Katniss Everdeen at the bottom. I like that, it's really, really soft. Loving that. Next one is quite heavy, it comes in this box, just says a Luma crate on it. And then as I've opened the box, there's two cups with what looks like the same pattern on as the box itself. So there's one, and this one is more of a pinky colour, I don't feel like you can see it, if I put them next to each other you see, slightly different colours, but yeah they're very nice. Next one is a pouch. Is it just the pouch? Yeah. So it's just a pouch with this on the front of it. It's nice and velvet and then on the inside it's like silky. Not a clue what I'll use that for. Guess the character card game. Two sets of 20 character cards, 20 mystery cards. Aim, ask questions to guess your opponent's mystery character before they guess yours. I love games like card games or like tabletop games. I have a whole cupboard full of them. So this is what the cards actually look like. So there's... All different characters from different books. Oh, they're really beautiful. I love those. There's different colours on the backs of the cards. So there's the purple group, the blue group, and then the orange group. But yeah, that's going to be fun. I mean, I need to... Oh, cool. 
Mia from Never Night. Fits. Yeah, I really like those. Really, really pretty. New card game. Oh, and I can put the cards in the pouch. Figured out what I'm using it for. <laughs> Love that. I've never had a game in a book box before, so that's fun. I can't wait to play that. And then it is just the book. July's book is The Jassad Air by Sarah Assam and it is such a gorgeous book. I love that the black is matte and then it's got the gold foiling. I think that's really, really pretty. And then this is the back and it says on the back, get ready for an unmissable tale of shattered kingdoms, forbidden magic and cunning royals in Sarah Hassan's Egyptian-inspired epic fantasy debut. And then it also says, at 10 years old, the heir of Jassad fled a massacre that consumed her entire family. At 15, she buried her first body. At 20, her carefully crafted lies are starting to crumble. It has this gorgeous stenciling all the way round. The end pages match the stenciling. Ooh, I like that. So the book, the naked hardback itself, the gold has got like a shimmer to it. I don't know if you'd be able to see that on camera. It's got, you can sort of see that. And it looks like this. And then on the spine, it says every truth has its time which is really nice and then it's just plain on the back I wonder if you can see it better there but yeah that is a gorgeous gorgeous book it is also signed by the author and it says the Scorch Throne book one so it will be a series but yeah that sounds really really good looking forward to that I haven't read many like Egyptian inspired um, fantasies so so that is everything for July's um, Illumicrate box I am really looking forward to the book it sounds really good my favourite thing see I really like the design on the corpse and I will get a lot of use out of the towel but I do think the card game is my favourite because I love games so this will be fun. I've just got to find someone that's into books as much as me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's the cards are my favourite. Let's see what the spoiler card has to say. Towel, dry off with this beautiful towel. The artwork inspired by the Hunger Games. Guess the character card game. I'll take on Guess Who. This card game features stunning artwork with many of our all-time favourite characters. An item we have never included before, these stemless teacups inspired by a magic steeped in poison are perfect for all your tea drinking. Guild of Knowledge embroidered pouch. Keep your tarot or playing cards safe with this embroidered pouch inspired by the final strife. Still need to read that. Really want to get to it. I do have. Is it even close by? Over there, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Um, I do have one and two of that series, so I really need to get to that. And yeah, like I said, August is going to be Hidden Magic. So I hope that you enjoyed the little unboxing. So I need a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take it down a few knots. So the thing that I need to update you on is my health. I I've, I won't go into it all, all of it because there's a lot that's been before this. And so 
one of the things before as I had an operation and from that operation I lost the sensation of needing a wee. So my bladder is, was not fully emptying itself at all times and it was overfilling so I had to start using um, self insert catheters all the time every time that I go to the toilet I have to use one and I'm about to go and have a pre-op um, very very soon next week in fact for the interstem which will help my bladder empty itself relax itself better and I will no longer have to use catheters anymore which is just I can't wait for that because I'm going to save so much storage and time and pain so yeah I'm going to be having that done but I will be there is a period between so it is involves two operations and there's a period between the two where um you have like a open wound and there's like a battery pack on the side i will go into more detail of this if you are wanting that um i don't know if it's something that you'll want on here because obviously you just come for books but if it will help anyone if they're getting that procedure i don't know um i don't know what to do for the best so but yeah i am getting that done and the reason I'm telling you this is because I don't know what state I will be in in between the two surgeries and obviously straight after both um, I'll probably be a bit in pain and stuff so I'm hoping to carry on as normal as anyone would but if you see a lack in videos I'm, I'm not sure quite yet when I'm going to have my surgery, like my first operation. So when I know, I can let you know. But so all I know at the minute is I've got my pre-operation on the 14th. So very, very soon. And then hopefully when I have that, they will be able to tell me when I'm looking at for the first operation so you'll know when I know <laughs> sort of thing and I do apologize for lack of videos if I do struggle to get any out or whatever but I will try and keep you as updated as possible and try and get one out as soon as possible and um, please bear with me um, I have been really lucky with how my channel is growing at the minute there is now 277 of you and thank you so much thank you for taking your time to watch my videos um but yeah if you would like to know more on my procedure or anything um let me know i am open to documenting it like because obviously i haven't even been from my pre-op yet so i can film going along and how it goes um and but if you don't want to know i totally understand because this is a place for books and happiness <laughs> and yeah i just really wanted to update you because i have been having a few health issues at the minute so and then it's just going to get worse before it gets better so i was letting you know i'm not going to ramble on about it if you would like to know more of what my like I say, if you'd like to know more of what my operation is, I can break it down a little bit more, like what exactly I'm having done, and I can take you along with me on each part of it, and yeah, I always feel awkward, <laughs> but yeah, that's that, and so if by any chance there is a lack of videos, that will be the reason, and I do apologise, and I will be back on my feet as soon as possible so i hope that you enjoyed the unboxing of the illumicrate um again i just wanted to update you at the end and i hope that you are well if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more from me please subscribe i'd love to have you join my little booktube family and i hope to see you in my next video bye <laughs>
Hey everyone, welcome back to Forget Booty Yeah, welcome back to that channel. July's. July's. Is it July's? Hey everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's bookshelf. I forgot the name of my channel again. Jesus Christ. I don't know if you can see any of this and then... This is awkward. Let's try that again. So... Speaking of cups. Cup of tea. I've never had a um let me stop rattling that. So the book this month is The Just Said Here by Sarah Hassam. Hassam? I'm so sorry. Sarah Hassam. Hassam? Oh, I really don't want to pronounce it wrong. Oh, I need a cup of tea. So that is everything for um so my belly my blah, blah 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 so I'm about to go for my pre op for another operation which is for the intersem stem uh, so I'm about to go at uh I don't know what's happening to my throat at the minute I don't know I know when I'm having my pre op which is on the seventeenth is it the seventeenth 14th, oh my goodness. 